There are spaces. Assalamu alaikum wa أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أطيع الله وأطيع الرسول وأولي الأمر منكم Obey Allah, obey Prophet and obey those who are on authority Every, every day a different manifestation Every day different blessings Every day, different mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not only every day, Maulana is correcting, he's saying every moment. Every moment is a different manifestation, means tajalli. In every moment in our lives, so if we keep these moments, these manifestations will accumulate to make us to reach the presence of Prophet <laughs> When you go to school, you begin with kindergarten, huh? En français, c'est quoi? Jardin d'enfant. <laughs> I was in Jardin d'Enfant. <laughs> and then you go to five years after Jardin, after uh, kindergarten. And then you go intermediary. And then you go <laughs> Macaloria or Lycée. And and then you go to college or university, then you do master, then you do prof PhD, then they hire you. Then they hire you. Why? Because you they hire you in the lower level. When you spend 10 years with the university and making uh, research on your PhD, then you become, you'll be associated professor, then you become full professor. So everything has to go gradually in order that you can reach <coughs> to be professor. Also, this is an example, that we need these moments of manifestation, Allah's manifestation of His beautiful names and attributes, in that moment what, what they were, these manifestations, to accumulate them, not to lose one of them. It will gradually, you reach the peak, and then you find yourself in presence of Prophet So if we are not in the presence of Prophet blame yourself. Don't blame your teacher. Your guide said, come. Our doors are open from east to west. So huge. But come. When you come in, there is no exit. He said, no exit for you. When you come in, they close the door. Morana Sheikh Al-Nazim Adil Al-Hakani. Sheikh Hisham Al-Kabbani. So they close the door in order that Shaitan will not steal from you any of these moments. 
which are important in our spiritual journey. So spiritual journey is, has to be a way to take us to profit. So when we are not in that presence then, we know that we are helpless, weak, weak servants. We cannot achieve what they want us to achieve. And that's why Awliyaullah, they guide their followers through their experiences and through their generosity. They teach who are around them that Amfik ma fil jayb, ya si ma fil ghayb. Spend whatever there is in your pocket, Allah will fill it back from His own treasures. So, Awliya Allah, they are so much generous that they are, they spend everything that they have that they have acquired or got not money-wise only but they give everything of whatever Allah reward them they give to their followers <laughs> they will not keep their followers thirsty for this uh, manifestation or these spiritual knowledges no, they carry and give to them and they not waiting another time for Allah sending more and Allah sends more because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said inna al-hasanata bi'ashri ansariya hasana will multiply by ten if you do it Any, anything you do good according to sharia according to tariqa Allah give you reward of ten, more. One to ten. For you, one hasana, you become ten. But for struggling in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the way of Prophet, Allah give you the ajr of seventy martyrs. Look at the difference. When you struggle, you will get more because you step on your ego. By reviving the Sunnah of Prophet, Allah loves everything that Prophet showed was doing. He loves his servants to follow the footsteps of Prophet He doesn't like us not to follow, he likes us to follow the Sunnah of Prophet mm -hmm. and that's why he gave rewards of 70 martyrs Allahu Akbar if you do something good you get 10 but if you struggle and follow the Sunnah of Prophet you get 70 martyrs no. uh, every martyr shaheed Allah knows what kind of reward He will give them. بَلْ أَحْيَاءٌ عِنْدَ رَبِّهِمْ يُرْزَقُونَ They are alive in the presence of the Divine Presence provided with all heavenly rewards and all heavenly manifestations that Allah manifests on heavens they will be given to Martyrs, you will get that with one sunnah to revive one sunnah. That's why Aulia they recommend to put a, a ring or to carry a stick or to have a turban or to have a beard. These are easy sunnah, but you get reward of 70 martyrs. If there are sunnah, they are difficult. <coughs> that you, no one can do them. Ya ayyuh al-muzzammil, kumul layla illa qalila. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. 
يا ايها المزمل قم الليل الا قليلا نصفه او انقص منه قليلا او زد عليه ورتل القران ترتيلا الله is saying to prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم for us to learn oh that one i will ex- uh, uh, interpret uh, will not interpret but take the meaning as it is uh, necessary oh muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that you are covered wake up stand for allah subhanahu wa ta'ala means stand up for most of the night But never mind, we know you are, you get tired. Nisfahu aw kusminahu kamila. Half of it or less than half little bit. Who can do that? In Ramadan, you are forced to do that. If you were not forced to do that, you would never wake up. <laughs> <laughs> Instead, people they wake up play, playing chess or make it watching video or this and that, and before Fajr they sleep. They don't care for praying. But in Ramadan, everything changes. Allah. Subhanallah, the jelly of Ramadan is different. <laughs> make you, you don't feel tired. You. You are okay. You're a little bit sleepy, but but you can keep up. Hey, what do you think Allah is saying in Holy Quran to Prophet? Wake up from the night, half of it. Day after day, day after day, day after. No holidays. No. No holidays. Day after day. <laughs> Too much in the prayers. Because he is in the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is, that's why a prophet is happy to be in prayers. We are blind. We don't see anything. But if we were to follow this way, Allah will open it. And then you will be in his presence. Ya Allah, they didn't stop. They said, okay, we are going this way, following the footsteps of Prophet, and we will, inshallah, reach the door of Allah. And they keep and keep and keep. Although they might be tested, 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 a lot of times, and they kept struggling. They didn't back up for a few moments. And they reach the door. We have to struggle. And then we have to keep going until we reach the door. Now, since we are lazy, we cannot reach the door. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ya Rabbi, for sake of Prophet, bless us with that tajalli to be in the presence of Prophet We are weak servants. We, can, we are not awliya that we can do it. But you can support us and help us because our intention, inshallah, is good. So generosity, awliya Allah, they show generosity. And we have to be generous to get the barakah of Every every hasana you take ten. So when the wali give you his reward, Allah will give him ten more. He is not losing. He knows. Physically he gives and from the spiritual side he gives. And his pocket, if we can say pocket or drawer, never empty. Full. Hark. One time, one wali, 
he said to his, uh, uh, someone came at the door, knocking his door. They didn't listen. It's hurting me. <laughs> they heard the door now. His helper opened the door and saw someone from what Allah gave to you. He, he, he said, the, the wali, the sheikh said to the helper, Oh, my helper, give him whatever we have eggs. She opened the closet and she gave him she gave him the eggs and he didn't have except 10 eggs he told her give them see oh no they don't keep anything one, one lady came the door of Sayyida Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha wa arda knocked the door she opened she saw someone with two children asking ya, ya Aisha please from what Allah gave to you give us she was saving three days they didn't have anything in the house she was saving three days for Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa and that lady came poor lady she said we are hungry my children didn't eat and prophet tying stone on his stomach from hunger we if we don't see kebab and we <laughs> see this or see that we are not happy <laughs> three days imagine She gave them to the lady. Lady immediately gave her one daughter, the other daughter, and one for her. Three days. So the two girls, in seconds, like in Somalia now, there is no more food. People are suffering. They said every day 12,000 people are dying. So it is a disaster. So she, they ate it quickly and they look at their mother for her date also. She took it from her mouth, she gave half to her daughter and half to her daughter. Prophet Sallallahu when he came, Sayyidah Aisha was telling him, he said, this lady because of what he, she did, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala saved her from punishment, she entering paradise. Allah. With dates. One person was in the desert, he became very thirsty, there is nothing in the desert, he wants to drink, he cannot find anything. Finally, when he began to reach, to finish the desert and begin to reach the, the end of the desert, he's going to die, there is no water, he wants to drink and suddenly find a well. Because they used to dig wells and leave it for people who pass and go and in caravans. He went down in the well. He drank. That's a hadith of Prophet <laughs> He drank. He squinched his thirst. Came up, <coughs> and he was happy and saw a dog coming, looking for water, very thirsty and reaching the well, but he cannot go down. So the man took his shoes, hoof, hoof, and went down, filled it with water, came up, offered the dog to drink. 
the dog, the dog squinched his thirst, went very happy, moved his tail, <laughs> and continued. And Prophet ﷺ, this man will enter paradise because of what he did for Allah's creature, that is, creature, even it's a dog. So, when you give in the way of Allah, Allah will give you back. Don't, don't think He doesn't give you back in any way. It, you might give one million, whatever, which is more expensive, pound. <laughs> one million pounds, and you are expecting to get ten million, because hasana is by ten. You multiply by ten, but you don't. So what happened? Might be Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saved you from falling into a cancer because of that. Which is more worthy for you? The 10 million or to, to have more life? More life. So don't say I didn't get anything. No, you get everything. Might be you are going to do an accident and your family is going to die. And Allah saved you. It is worth, worth, worth more than 10 million. So he said to his servant, give him all the eggs, 10 eggs. She gave him 9 eggs. <laughs> And she saved one egg, she said, my master, at Maghrib time, he is going to breakfast, the egg is ready, I will give to him. Look how much uh, respect for her master and how much love. She didn't say, I, I save for myself. She said, I'm saving for my master. Where you can find today like that? Man or woman, yani, you don't save anything for your wife, she doesn't save anything for you, <laughs> and you begin to quarrel. But this is discipline. She saved one egg. In her mind, she did something good. So in the evening, Maghrib time, the door is not knocking. What do you think happened? Hmm. Who is knocking? Another, another one calling wants the egg? Hmm. Or something else? Hmm. Something else. <coughs> Open the door. One person they don't know carrying a bucket and said give this to your master this is our gift to him she took look oh eggs <laughs> she was very happy she came running to her master saying to him someone came he said who came she said one person we don't know he gave me this bucket and full of eggs. He said, count them. <laughs> she counted them, 90 eggs. <laughs> he said, how? Where is the... I don't understand. Why, why 90? What you did with the egg? <laughs> she said, I saved it to you. He said, you saved to us one egg, you made us to lose 10 eggs. <laughs> Al-Hasana bi'ashra amsariya. One Hasana, 
ten times Allah will reward. Mm -hmm. This is how they were in their relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They have belief that Allah is giving them back and Allah gives. Allah will not hold his generosity from anyone. But look at your amal that delay you to get that. That's where is the problem. That's where is the hole in the in the, in a bucket. It will keep dripping, and you look after a while. Oh, there is no more water. It's, there is a hole there. So glue the hole, fix it. We have to fix our hole that making leaking everything in the, our bucket. He said that. In that time, they were believers, they were accepting and believe everything that came in Bima Warada Fil Kitabi was Sunnah. In everything they believe in what came in Holy Quran and the Sunnah of Prophet. Today we believe who? Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, what else? Huh? Google, Yahoo, <laughs> Yahoo. <laughs> this is what we believe. Do you do you do you do you check on the internet something else? No. Before they used to check on their heavenly computer what Allah gave you of six powers in the heart Hakikatul Jazba six realities Hakikatul Jazba Hakikatul Fayd Hakikatul Tawajjuh Hakikatul Tawassul Hakikatul Irshad Hakikatul Tai six realities and I'm not going to explain them now that they are in within you Allah created you with these realities uh, let us say, to give an example, Hakikatul Jazba, the reality of attraction. Your presence will attract people. Jazba is pull the people. That is in your heart. Means anything can, can, you can attract with that Jazba that you have, with that state or that strength <coughs> that you are in, people will be attracted to you. Anything you can attract. You can attract heavenly manifestations. You can attract Ma'rifatullah. You can attract Salah ala Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in different ways. It's attraction. No, no, like you, they you call attractions. You go in the visiting country, they say to you, did you see the attractions in that country? <laughs> Hollywood? <Yeah>. Uh, Bollywood? <laughs> uh, uh, India becomes what? Bollywood? Yeah. Why France, not France, uh, France uh, uh, would? <laughs> France is Hollywood by itself. <laughs> ah, <okay. laughs> so, Hakikatul Jazba, to attract, you can attract. Hakikatul Fayd means, Fayd means the manifestations. You have the reality of the manifestation of Allah's beautiful names and attributes is in your heart, but open it. You cannot, if you don't, if you keep it closed, you will not get, and then by this you have knowledge about everything. Hakikatul Tawajjuh. Tawajjuh means to direct your face towards someone who might be in China and you are here, you can talk to him. Telepathy. Telepathy in, in English. Sayyidina Amr was speaking with Saria in, from Medina to Sham. With pictures, colored picture, and uh, and as, as the three, everything, no, Skype, 
<laughs> yeah, Skype. <laughs> but not image on TV. He was seeing and and sending message. And uh, Saria was only hearing. He, I didn't reach level of Sayyidina Amar. So Sayyidina Amar was hearing and seeing. Saria was only hearing. So they did not, those people did not do anything wrong against Holy Quran and Sunnah. They, their relation with their Lord was a relationship of love and respect and obedience. When you are, you know the discipline and the obedience, you are obedient and you are disciplined, they let you in. The door is open. There are bodyguards. <coughs> they check you first. If you are not up to the standard of discipline, they don't let you in. No. Or like security today. You pass security, if you have anything, they say, oh, sorry, out. So there are heavenly security angels at the doors of paradise. If you are carrying with you some, some sins, they say, no. Go, take shower and come. Throw this out and come clean. They don't say to you, don't come. No, the door is open all the time. Never is closed. But there is doorkeeper. You are good, you enter. You are not good, go be good and come. Not like dunya. In dunya you do something bad, okay, oh, to the prison. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't put you in prison, but sees his doors are open. Fix yourself and come, you will be accepted. Oh, my brothers, he's saying, leave that craziness that you have in your mind, Hawas, and follow the righteous one, the sincere one, in what they say and what they act. Not only about what they say, if they don't act on what they say, means they are charlatans. You know charlatans? Mm -hmm. What is in French? Charlatans. Charlatan. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they are using religion or using spirituality for their own benefit. If they are not practicing what they are saying, so how they advise you to do that and when they don't do it by themselves, there is no light in it. You never benefit. Don't claim, don't ask to reach what they have reached by claiming false claims that you are a sheikh, you are a teacher, you are a PhD, whatever you are. Don't claim a false claims. Say what you are. And what you are. Weak servant, full of sins. So don't claim that you are like them or you receive from them when your actions are not according to what you are teaching. To reach what they reach, you have to be isbir ala al be patient on afflictions, on bala. bala. Bala is the door to paradise. Because when Allah sent that affliction and you are keep going, not, bother, not looking at it, you will reach 
the door they open for you. Means Isbir al Bala, be patient not to fight with people for certain issues. If someone wants to fight you, say, Samahakallah, may Allah forgive you, I'm not going to answer. Don't uh, <laughs> make, uh, take your shirts and come, you want to fight? Come, let's fight. Uh, fight what? No, say, oh my brother, I'm sorry. You have, you have right. Allah will be more happy with you. Allah will be more happy with you. Isbir al bala kama sabaru. Wait on the affliction as they have waited and they have struggled with it and they kept going, 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 until you reach to what they have reached. It's not easy, it's not cheap, even with big turban. If you, you have a turban like uh, a, a tray of uh, sweet <laughs> on your head, you are not going to eat what they eat by only saying. Make your tray smaller, show humility, might be, be better. Try. لولا البلاء الله سبحانه وتعالى لكان الناس كلهم عبادا زهادا if not if there was no bala affliction on earth it would be paradise if there was no affliction on, on earth all human being would be uh, in the state of servanthood and in the state of asceticism means ascetic zuhad zahid means someone who doesn't care for dunya he wants his, his, his the divine presence of his lord of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so bala make us to go backward why? because we are not patient since we are not patient, we, st we, fight it, we fight with it, we are angry, we get angry. As soon as we get angry because of a certain affliction or we complain of a certain affliction, more veils will come. So don't come and say, I am 30 years in Tariqah, 20 years, 40 years, 50 years, I'm not seeing. And look at what you are doing. You want to progress? Yes. Be, be patient on, your, on the affliction, means on, on what you are going to face of difficulties, because Allah sent these difficulties to check you. A Prophet وسلم, he said, I was the most one between prophets to be abused and to be tortured by my uh, uh, relatives. Hey, what about you? What about us? And we tortured a little bit, oh, we go crazy. <laughs> Who does not be, who is not patient, he will not receive Allah, Allah's gift. Allah wants you to be patient. Sayyidina Adam was patient, he went into sajda 40 years. Never raised his head until Allah said to him, you are forgiven. He was patient. If this was not, immediately complained. He said, you made me to make this sin. Sayyidina Adam didn't say anything, one sajda. He knew he made a mistake. He went into sajda asking forgiveness. Uh, if we face a problem, what we do? We go sajda? Oh, if we have a gun, we fight with the gun. 
إذا عدمت الصبر والرضا كان ذلك لخروجك من عبودية من عبوديتك للحق عز وجل. If you hang up, hang means you throw away. He's mentioning it in hanging. How when you hang someone means you killed him. If you killed patient means you were not patient on patient. You didn't accept it. And you didn't accept. You didn't accept by this way. You close the door of rida, satisfaction from Allah. You will be under a big question mark that you are coming out of your servanthood. You are not anymore a servant to Allah. You are become servant to Shaitan. That's why he, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, said. من لم يرضى بقضائي ولم يصبر على بلائي فليتخذ إلها سواي Who does not accept my will on him because القضاء means anything that comes from Allah سبحانه وتعالى everything comes from Allah Who does not is patient on my what I have written for him as destiny and he is not patient on the affliction that I send on him let him go find another God if there is من لم يرضى بقضائي ولم يصبر على بلائي فليتخذ إلها سواي Ibn Asakir mentioned this hadith So, you have a choice, either to accept and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless you, or not to accept and leave this way and go the shaitan waiting. So, awliyaullah are showing us the way to be, to accept struggles and to be patient and to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the sake of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to cure us from our weaknesses and our mistakes may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us may Allah bless this meeting and inshallah will be afternoon at 3 o'clock or so or 2.30 Another sahaba, inshallah. This is Ramadan. If this building was finished, we'd have spent all Ramadan here. But inshallah, next year. Tonight is, uh, as Grand Sheikh said, is the night of, because we we fasted 15 days, so is the dua of Sayyidina Mahdi tonight. So inshallah we'll make that dua <laughs> after Aisha. A small dua, but it was a lot of barakah who does this. But awliya Allah show us of ways to, in order to boost us, that will be a booster to build us up like a rocket to move toward heavenly presence. And it also, uh, it is the night of uh, tomorrow night is the night of 17 of Ramadan and 17 of Ramadan is the first uh, ignorant people coming attacking Prophet Sallallahu in Ghazwa to Badr it is the Badr fight may Allah bless us and dress us with what he dressed and blessed the Sahaba of Badr and what he dressed Prophet may Allah share shares us with them Hurmat al-Habib Hurmat al-Fatih How are you Arifin?
الحمد لله الحمد لله سي شكرا لله